Bullshit! since 1977 because Alan started the Destructors about January 77 about a year later the Blank started with another bassist that went on for about a year and a half and then the other guitarist left and we got Dave on guitars and Graham joined about a year and a half ago from now when the Destructors originally started we just set out to be um, sensational and obnoxious and a lot of those songs we held on to, even though we have tried to get rid of them, it's just they're so popular. I think now a lot of our songs are more politically uh, lent um, because we sort of changed the whole position a long time ago and we thought that as punk changed that we should change what we're doing. They've got political views which most of us agree with. They still talk to their fans, they're following, they still yeah. can relate to them rather than some of the bigger groups mm. who don't relate to their fans anymore and they're just brilliant. There's a pretty big age gap in the band. Like, I'm 16, I'm the youngest, and the oldest is Andy Mack, and he's 27, all the others, sort of, Alan's 26, and the other's about 21. But it doesn't, it's good in a way, because, like, you've got people of different ages, and somehow, they, they might be all older or younger, but they're all getting together, and not, they're all saying the same thing. It does have a bit of pressure at times, because being the youngest, you sort of seem to get put aside, but I've got a big mouth, so I'll make sure I'm heard. Basically, the band just means misery and financial hardship, but I just get the kicks out of playing live, mainly. I believe in all the songs we play, just about. One or two that I don't agree with, but, you know, you've got to be the best. I mean, anyway, I want to fucking drink. I'm not sitting here any longer. That's what... We were basically all about just having fun and putting our message across. The point about forces of law is really that if we're going to change anything, we've got to change the government. And there's no point in just trying to pick on the people. There's a lot of people that want to change the way we live in different ways, like buy the mine off and IRA. They, they, they want to change the way we live. But they just do it by spilling other people's blood. It's just pointless. But if they're going to blow anybody up or shoot anybody, why don't they bloody hell they don't just blow up the government or something like that? They never do that.
What inspires my songs is, uh, I mean music, is when I'm just sat around feeling bored, depressed and angry and just get my guitar and I just get all my aggression and all my anger that's concerned like, you know, sort of like mum and dad or tech, police, you know, just life, because you just get fucked off with life so you just go upstairs and just take it out on your guitar you feel a lot better afterwards. And then that's what, you know, that's why I feel alright when I'm playing my songs. Punk's more than music, it's a whole movement. It's how you dress, how you act, how you live your life. It's an attitude as well. The attitude's important, more than the clothes. In a way, we believe in anarchy and so on and so forth, but we'll never have it. Punk isn't escapism, it's a way of life. Soldier Boy's about people joining the army because they're unemployed or something and they just don't realise what it's all about, they think it's just a job. And they go over to Northern Ireland somewhere, and next thing you know, they're back in your hometown without any legs, wandering around with a little medal. I think it's pathetic. You know, nothing ever changes, just wars are all the same. Just fighting and mindlessness, really. People have got to realise, just because they're unemployed, they'll, they'll find a job sooner or later. Just don't join the army. This one's called Soldier Boy. 